Hi DIYers, Sterling from Alarm Grid here and we're going to show you how to change our entry exit delay for a Lynx Touch L5100 security panel. The entry exit delay for those that don't know are the, t the timing delays that allow you to enter your home without tripping an alarm when you're coming home and at the same time exit out um, when you're leaving without tripping an alarm on your way out. So uh, there's two separate timings, uh, coming in is entry obviously and going out is exit and we're going to show you how to use the installer programming section to change those delays. To get into programming, we're going to hit, from the home screen, we're going to hit more, tools, enter our installer code, which is default 4112. We are now into programming. We go into program settings, down arrow, system settings, top right, and you can see we have our three options for our entry and exit. We have entry delay one, entry delay 2 and exit delay. By default they're going to come with 30 seconds to come in and 60 seconds to leave. Most people leave that. Um, the reason we give you a little longer time to exit is in case you're fumbling, you forgot something, it allows you to go and grab it and not have to worry about getting out uh, in a stressful situation. Um, also it's okay to have a little bit longer delay leaving because the chance of someone breaking in right as you're leaving is very slim. Uh, more important that we limit the entry delay so that if someone does uh, break in during the day when no one's around, you know, that they're going to get picked up pretty much right away. You can limit this, so we'll show you just how to uh, edit it. All you do is you toggle and you can see you go from 30 to 45 to 60 to 90 to 2 minutes and then back to zero, so no delay and then 15. So 15 second increments anywhere from zero all the way to two minutes. Uh, again, 30 is recommended as default, but you can certainly set it for whatever is convenient for you. Um, if you do limit it down to 15 seconds, obviously you'll have a higher chance of false alarms because if you don't get to the keypad in time, uh, alarms are going to go off and you got to make sure that your central station, when they call you, you give them your false alarm password so that they do not dispatch the police. The reason that some people may want to go ahead and go with a zero delay is because they always use their key fob, uh, a handy keychain remote to arm or disarm, or if you're subscribed to the Total Connect service which allows you to arm and disarm from your phone, then now your keypad is a, your phone is a keypad and you simply arm and disarm before you enter and then there's no need for a delay. Um, same idea for the exit delay, it's a simple toggle goes from 60, 90, 2 minutes, back to none. So the same options as entry. Um, same idea again when you're leaving. 60 seconds is default. If you did want to limit it because you're using your key fob or your total connect, you certainly could. And the last thing we want to point out is entry delay 2. So this is a good delay because certain zones, uh, if they're farther from the panel, maybe it's a side door that you use but it's not as close to the uh, panel which is at the front door, you need a little bit longer time to get in from that door. You would set up a second entry delay 2 with a separate time. So you can see our entry delay 1 is 30, entry delay 2 is 60. That way when you set up your zone programming for your entry exit doors, you can have the doors closest to the panel with the 30 seconds and the doors that are farther away for 60. Uh, one of the most popular ways to use this is with contacting your overhead garage door. Obviously if you're going to be driving into your garage it's going to take you a lot longer from the time that overhead comes starts going up from the time you park your car, get out of the car, get into the house and disarm the system. So what we always recommend for people that do contact their overhead is you set this entry exit to two minutes that way as soon as the door opens you have a full two, uh, full two minutes to get in and disarm the system and if you are going to set this up, it's very important that you match your exit to the longest of the two entries. So if we are going to use a longer entry delay 2, we want to go ahead and put this at 2 minutes as well so that we avoid a false alarm when we exit out through the garage door. So this is how you set your entry exit delays. Make sure when you do set this that you don't simply back out because it won't save any of these changes. Make sure to hit save in the bottom right. You're back to this screen. Back out a screen, always say yes to allow installer to re-enter. And then we're back to our home screen and our new entry exit delays have been set. 
If you have any questions on setting or using your entry exit delays, please leave us a comment in the section below and make sure to subscribe to our channel.